Royal Wedding Gospel Group The Kingdom Choir reveal the song Prince Harry and Meghan Markle rejected from the ceremony and how they secured the honor of performing at the nuptials. They rose to global stardom after their show-stopping appearance at the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in May. And now Gospel Group The Kingdom Choir have revealed how they secured the honor of performing at the highly anticipated nuptials, sharing the connection that landed them the gig. The singers also disclosed a slightly awkward exchange they had with the royal couple ahead of their special day. Formed in 1994 in London by award-winning conductor Karen Gibson, the Kingdom Choir are made up of 20 talented singers of various Christian traditions. Speaking to KISS FM's Kylan Jackie Osho on Tuesday in Australia, Karen told radio hosts Kyle Sandilands and Jackie O. Henderson, we had an ex-member of the choir who had a connection with a member of staff of Prince Charles. Jackie inquisitively asked if they had met with the royal couple before the wedding day to discuss song choices. We actually did. We said these are good ideas and they said we'd like these, Karen said with a laugh. Jackie went on to ask, what would you have loved to have perform on the wedding? What were your ideas? Joyful Joyful I would have liked to have played Joyful Joyful. You know that one? Sister act, Karen said without hesitation. Shock jock Kyle quickly interjected, quipping, Yeah, I know that one. Everyone loves sister act. However, Karen laughed as she said, Yes and no, not them maybe. Of the approved songs, Stand By Me by Benny e. King was performed by the gospel group at the request of the royals. During their stint in Australia, the Kingdom Choir have already performed on Nine's The Today Show and Seven's Sunrise. They are releasing a debut album titled Stand By Me on October 26, which will include a cover of John Farnham's You're the Voice.